case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the unraveling of a landmark case from 1963, Gideon v. Wainwright, the United States Supreme Court opened a new avenue of justice for the indigent. The case was based on Clarence Earl Gideon, a man facing felony charges in Florida who was too impoverished to hire his own lawyer. Despite pleading for the court to provide legal representation, Gideon's request was declined due to Florida's rigid law only permitting the appointment of counsel for capital offenses. Undeterred, Gideon chose to represent himself at the trial. He cross-examined witnesses, tendered his own witnesses, and strenuously argued his innocence during his closing remarks. His legal acumen, although raw, did not avert a guilty verdict and a subsequent five-year prison sentence. Unyielding, Gideon sought habeas corpus, an appeal to the state Supreme Court, insisting his constitutional rights had been infringed upon. Despite this compelling argument, the Florida Supreme Court rejected the petition without rendering any specific explanation. However, this set the course for a major breakthrough when the case reached the U.S. Supreme Court, which concluded that Gideon did indeed have a constitutional right to an attorney, regardless of his financial state. The court overruled their previous decision in Betts v. Brady, signaling a significant shift in interpretation of the 14th Amendment, which, up until then, had not been deemed necessary to provide counsel for indigent defendants charged with a felony. The court clarified that the right to court representation was not solely confined to physical presence, but also incorporated the assistance of knowledgeable counsel. This is a recognition that even the educated might lack the finer nuances of law and be unequipped for self-defense in criminal charges. The decision to overrule Betts v. Brady found support from 22 states, while an objection was lodged by three states, including Florida. In a poignant deviation, the court essentially underscored that the 14th Amendment not only protects the Bill of Rights against state infringement, but elevates constitutional rights to their original essence, thereby rejecting diluted interpretations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.